Listen to those awesome tunes. And let's add a custom music disc to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found some back into the other ones more. And in this tour, we're adding a custom music disc to our Minecraft mod over here. And you'll find that once again, this is more straightforward than you might think. However, as per usual with Minecraft modding, there are one or two caveats to keep in mind. Now, for this, what we're going to need, of course, is to register a new custom sound event because, well, this is still just a normal sound that we need to add. So first things first, we're going to add a public static final sound event to our mod sounds class, and it's going to be called the bar underscore brawl. That's the name of the music that we're going to play. That is equal to the register sound event method passing in bar underscore brawl as a name over here. There we go. Now, accompanying this, we are also going to need a registry key, and that is going to be a public static final registry key of type jukebox song. And this is going to be called bar underscore brawl underscore key equal to registry key dot of registry keys dot jukebox song. And then we're going to make an identifier dot of, and that's going to be tutorial mod on mod ID. And then the name here is going to be bar underscore brawl as well. And with that, we have this done. Let's reformat this a little bit, and there we go. And now we have both the sound event as well as the bar brawl key. We're going to need this registry key of jukebox song in a bit. Well, actually, immediately when we're actually registering the custom music disc. And that is happening in the mod items class because, well, that is a normal item. So we're going to have a public static final item. I'm going to call this the bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disc equal to the register item method bar and then the name here is bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disc and the second parameter is going to be a new crazy enough item over here with new item settings and then it's going to have the jukebox playable method called very importantly and here we're going to pass in the bar brawl key and also we wanted to actually make a max count not a max damage very important max count of one here because usually Music discs do not stack. With that done, we can add it to the item group because that is an easy thing to miss. And also we can add the data gen for this. This is just going to be a normal item in this case. Very, very straightforward. Basically, we're just going to register it for the Barbara music disc. This is the generated register call over here. And once we have that, we can move on to the assets over here. The first thing here you can see, of course, is the translation, basically just taking item to tutorial mod Barbara Music Disc. And then we have a secondary one, which is a .desc, which is the description, basically, usually containing the artist as well as the name of the song. And then I also added CC0 here to denote that the song is under the Creative Commons Zero or Public Domain License. So you can keep that in mind. And there we go. We can now add the sound over here. That's going to be the bar underscore brawl dot OGG. When it comes to the OGG file, of course, we don't need to take a look at this. This is all fine. We do want to add it to the Git, though. But basically, when it opens, you can just close it. it I don't know why uh, IntelliJ interprets the OGG file as something it can open. Obviously, this is a sound file. It's going to be gobbledygook in there. So we're going to be fine. Regardless, though, the most important thing about the OGG file here is that it is a proper OGG file and that it is converted or, you know, basically a OGG file in mono. It has to be in mono. If you make it in stereo, then whatever sound you will play, it's going to be heard in the entire world, right? And that is usually not something you want. We're going to add the item texture here as well. And then the last thing to do in the assets is going to be the sounds.json but after this we're not done quite just yet let's just add it over here very straightforwardly this is the bar underscore brawl and that is going to be a an object here with a sounds list and this list is going to have another object in it and that's going to have a name his name is tutorial mod colon bar underscore brawl and that is going to have a stream which is going to be true because in this case we basically want this to continuously play and that is going to be defining that. So with this, we're almost done, except the last thing is we need to, once again, have a something in the data over here, but it's not going to be a tag, actually. This is going to be a new form of sort of data JSON file. Now, in theory, similarly to what we've seen with the trims over here, right, this also generated some JSON files, and in theory, we could 
add this to it, right? So we could basically, or like not add this to it, but we can make another class over here that generates the JSON file as well. I don't know. It, it depends on how many music this you're really going to add, right? Once again, if you're realistically going to add like two of them, then you can just do it manually. If you can add like 10 or even more, then, you know, fair point, you could maybe do that. But it is very straightforward and very simple. So really, with just a little bit of Java knowledge, you should be able to do it. Regardless though, data tutorial mode, we're going to make it manually. So in the tutorial mode folder, right click new directory. I'm going to call this the jukebox underscore song. And then inside of there, I'm going to right click new file called the bar underscore brawl dot JSON. The name given to the JSON file here has to match the name given to the identifier in the registry key. Very important. And then the contents of this, I'm just going to copy over and you will see super straightforward, right? You have a comparator value of 15. This is obviously the value that is the jukebox outputs when this particular music disc is inside of it, right? When it comes to Redstone, the description here for the translate is just the translation. Then the length in seconds should be fairly self-explanatory as well. It's just the length of this OGG file in seconds. And then the sound event it basically connects to is the bar brawl, which basically refers to this one right here or or this one right here however which way you want to look at it obviously those two are the same thing so that is the whole idea with all of this done we can first of all run the data gen over here obviously because that is going to generate us the item model json file for our music disc but once that is run through we can jump into the game and here if it works oh, our fans are back in minecraft and as you can see the barbara music disc has been successfully added to the game and if i were to put it in you can see it starts playing absolutely freaking fantastic and if i well move away this is one thing that you should definitely test when you add this it gets quieter and quieter until i can't hear it anymore that means that the ogg file was probably in mono and we're basically good let's remove it and there we go and that is how easy it is to add a custom music disc to minecraft awesome as per usual all of the code is linked down below but that's gonna be it for this tutorial right here next time in this video we'll add a custom effect hope to see you there so yeah